welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another video in my little Starbucks series. You guys love these videos. I love making these videos. I enjoy Starbucks for the week. So in this video, instead of letting Starbucks baristas pick my drinks for a week, I'm going to be letting my subscribers pick my drinks for a week. That's right. You guys pick my drinks for a week. I asked you guys on my community page to give me all your favorite Starbucks drinks. And I'm basically just going to be picking a different drink every day this week. I'm so excited for it. I love these videos so much. Let's just go ahead and get on into it. Happy day one of letting you guys choose my Starbucks drinks for a week. It is bright and squirrely this morning. It's like eight o'clock on a Monday morning and I'm so ready to be getting my Starbucks. So I'm gonna go to the little community tab. I downloaded this random number generator app. So right now there are 29 comments of you guys that like submitted your drinks but i'm sure there'll be like a few more as the week goes on but for now i'm just gonna do one through 29 and basically all you do is shake it so i'm gonna shake it and it's number 26 so i'm gonna scroll through let's see okay this is a it says a definitely a color rainbow drink or a pink drink I don't really know how to order a color rainbow drink, like how that works, but I do know how to order a pink drink. So today's drink is going to be a pink drink, which I'm excited about. I've had those before. I like pink drinks. I think they're good. Hi, what can I get something for you? Hi, can I just have a grande pink drink? Do you want to try anything else? No, that's all. Alrighty, we'll see you down here. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. 435, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm here. <laughs> I'm here and I'm cold. I, it is so cold today. Yeah, I'm cold. Oh, have a great day. Thank you, you too. I'm actually on my way to work this morning, so gotta get moving and grooving, but I got my little pink drink. I haven't had one of these in a while, so I'm excited. Oh yeah, these are so good. I love strawberry stuff. It like kind of reminds me of like strawberry milk, only like fruitier, if that makes sense, or like more like lemonade, but like also like strawberry milk. I love all things strawberry. I think it's so good, the coconut milk. Yay! We are off to a good start. Happy day two of letting you guys pick my drinks from Starbucks for a week. It is a beautiful day out today. Like, so nice. I'm in such a good mood. And I'm honestly down for whatever you guys have picked for me today. So, I'm gonna go and see how many comments there are now. Ooh, there's 36 now. So, there's a few more drinks today. So, now I'm gonna pick a random number from one to 36 with my little handy dandy app. All right, let's shake it up. Number one, yay. Okay, let's see. What is number one? Oh, it's a pink drink. Okay, we can't do a pink drink again. I just had one yesterday, sorry guys. Okay, let's shake her up again. 18, okay, let's see. 18, it's a white chocolate mocha. I'm going to get mine iced because it's really hot out and I just prefer ice drinks for the most part. Yay, I'm so excited. I was literally just talking about this drink in my live last weekend, so let's go get it. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing wonderful, thank you. What can I go get started for you? Um, can I do a grande iced white chocolate mocha with no whipped cream? Anything else for you? Oh, uh, no, that's all. Come on down, before 75. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. Got the goods. I just realized that I kind of like twisted the order. I don't know if the person that gets this normally does it like hot or iced or if they get whipped cream or don't get whipped cream, but I kind of changed it a little bit to be what I want. So I'm sorry. I'm going to not do that from now on. I'm going to literally order exactly what you guys say because that's like the whole point in this. But this is just a grande iced white chocolate mocha. I love these things. I haven't had one in so long. Actually, a fun fact, when I was younger, like when I was little, my uncle used to get these all the time like with whipped cream and I remember he would like scoop out the whipped cream with a straw and like let me eat the whipped cream and then he would let me have like a sip or two. There are some angry drivers today. <laughs> so, me and white chocolate mochas go way back. I'm super excited though. Let's give her a taste. Oh, you gotta mix it up. I hate it when the first sip is like that lukewarm temperature. It's gotta be like all cold. So I'll take a sip from the top. Oh, it's so good. It just tastes like a really sweet coffee to me, but you can still taste like the little bit of chocolate to it, but because it's like ice white chocolate mocha, like it's not that much of a chocolatey flavor. It's just like a really sweet, a little subtle hint of chocolate in the coffee. I don't know, but it is delicious. This is super good. Definitely something that I would order like for myself. Like I would definitely get it again for myself. 
happy day three of you guys picking my Starbucks drinks for a week. It is so hot out today that it's not even funny. I should be like in a short sleeve shirt because it's so hot outside. But let's see, I think there's been a couple more. Okay, so there's 37 of you guys that submitted your drinks now. So let's pick a number one through 37 and see what we get. I kind of hope it's something like fruity or like a tea or something and not a coffee, which is like so unlike me because you guys know how I feel about my coffee. But I actually kind of want like a tea or something like that today. So let's see what we get. 34, 34, okay, a tuxedo iced latte. It has white chocolate and mocha and of course whipped cream drizzle. Whipped cream and drizzle. Okay, this one's interesting. I need to look it up just to figure out how to order it because I feel like this is like one of the ones that's kind of difficult. So an iced tuxedo latte. Let's see how we can make it. This is a good one, I'm excited for this. I'm thinking it's iced in an iced tuxedo mocha is what I'm thinking it is because that's what keeps coming up on the menu. Yeah, I'm thinking it's an iced tuxedo mocha so I'm gonna try and order that. I believe that's what this drink is that she's referring to. So let's go order. Hi, can I have a grande iced tuxedo mocha? Yeah, anything else? No, that's all. All right, thank you, you too. Okay, got the goods. I'm really excited about this one because I feel like it's different and I've never had this before. The previous two drinks I had had before so I knew what they tasted like, but I've never had this one before. I also hope I got it right. She called it a grande iced tuxedo latte, but I didn't find anything about that. So I think like the name at Starbucks is a grande iced black and white mocha. When I said tuxedo, she just said black and white. So I'm assuming that's what this is. And it has like the whipped cream and all the good stuff. So I'm thinking this is the drink that you're talking about. If I got it wrong, I'm really, really sorry. I apologize, but I'm super duper excited. To get all the good stuff mixed up. This looks really good. That is really, really good. I don't, got my air conditioning off sorry I'm gonna look up exactly what it is from the Starbucks so it says it's dark mocha and white chocolate mocha combined in this iced drink with whipped cream mocha drizzle and a dash of dark dark chocolate curls this doesn't have the dark chocolate swirls on top of it but that's pretty much what it is it's just a combination of the mocha and the white chocolate mocha and I really the mocha just tastes more chocolatey the white chocolate mocha just tastes like more like coffee I think but this is pretty good I like the chocolatiness of it. It like, it doesn't taste like coffee at all. It tastes like straight up like coffee goodness. Like a coffee, like a chocolate coffee is what it tastes like. Which, Alexa, that's what a mocha is. Oh my gosh. It tastes like a really good iced chocolate drink. And you guys know how I feel about my chocolate. I really like this one. I think this one might be my favorite for the week. I literally can't stop drinking it, it's so good. This wouldn't be like my everyday coffee, but like as a nice like treat, if you're looking for something that's like really sweet and really good, this would be that drink. Happy day four of letting you guys pick my drinks for a week. I can't already believe this is the fourth day. Like we only have one more day to go. This week is seriously flying by. So let me see how many we have now to choose from. Okay, 38. I can't remember how many we had yesterday, but we're gonna do a number one through 38. I hope it's an iced drink because it is so hot. I'm actually in shorts and a t-shirt for the first time, I think, yet this like season, now that it's finally nice out. So, all right, let's see what it is. Shake it up, there we go, 28, 28 is my favorite number. Okay, this has to be a good drink because it's my favorite number. 28, the violet drink. Okay, I don't know what the violet drink is, so let's look it up. Okay, it looks like it's on the menu, I'm not sure, but we're about to find out. Let's go through the drive-thru. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing wonderful, thank you. What can I go get started for you? Um, Can I just have a grande violet drink? Grande violet drink, definitely. Anything else for you? No, that's all. Come on down. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. You. Back again. Okay, this looks really cool. It just says Grande Violet drink. I think it's the very, very hibiscus refresher with coconut milk, which is very similar to the pink drink, which is a strawberry acai refresher with coconut milk, I believe. So let's see if this one, I don't know what this one's gonna taste like. More like, I, anytime I see something purple, I think it's gonna taste like a like grapey flavor. So I'm not sure. Let's give it a try. It kind of looks pretty similar to the pink drink. Honestly, it's not like super purple, but it does look really pretty. All right, first taste, let's go. Okay, I don't know what to think about this one. This one has a weird aftertaste. It has a, 
a, a different aftertaste. I definitely think I like the pink drink better. I just tend to like strawberry things better. I really like the pink drink and this definitely has like a similar taste to it. I think because of the coconut milk. But it has a very different app. There we go. I don't know what's going on with my camera. I'm sorry if it was shaking that whole time. I have no idea how to describe this one. It definitely has a very interesting taste. And I like it. I think it's good. But I don't think it would be like my go-to order. Or I probably don't know if I would get this again. <laughs> it's good. Don't get me wrong. It's just not like my favorite drink. You know what I mean? Happy day of five, you guys, and happy Coffee Friday, fry, yay, heck yes. Bringing the whole Coffee Friday thing back today. It is the last day of this video, and I am super, super sad because it has been such a fun week doing this and trying out all of you guys' favorite drinks. So, let's get into the last day. It better be coffee because Coffee Friday, hello. It better be an actual coffee. So, we have 41 things now, so I'm gonna go into my app and pick a number between one and 41. Shake it up. Okay, number 10, let's see. 10, a double chocolate chip frappuccino. All right, I'll take it. And you know what? I actually have a free drink reward today, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that so it's even better. Let's go ahead and get our drink. Hi, can I just have a grande double chocolate chip frappuccino? Yeah, sure, you said that was all? Yes, that's all. Okay, got the goods, you guys. My camera battery is literally about to die, so I need to make this quick and speedy. But, although this isn't a coffee for Coffee Friday, still very happy about it because I love this drink so much. Back in high school, this was like my jam. Like, I loved the double chocolate chip frappuccino. I would get it double blended, sometimes without the whipped cream, and it was so good. So this is like a major throwback. I'm super happy about it. It just looks beautiful. I have not had one of these in so long, so I am very excited. It's gonna like take me back. It's just as good as I remember it. Oh my gosh, ah, I'm so excited. It's so good, I love the chocolate in it. It's like a very light chocolate, which I think is so good. The whipped cream in it, just like, it just is pure chocolatiness goodness. It reminds me of a chocolate milkshake a little bit, only less chocolatey, and instead of like that milkiness, thickness that milkshakes have, it's like a lighter, icier version. It's so good. Yay, that was such a good way to finish off this video. That is about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed round three of Starbucks videos, letting you guys take my drinks this time. There will definitely be another fourth one coming at some point in the near future, so make sure that you subscribe by clicking down below so that you get notified when I upload another video like this or to keep up with my videos in general. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thought it was as fun as I thought it was. Don't forget to also follow me on Instagram. I'll link that right here. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye, guys.